listen everybody to the words I have to say Better get ready Because the Lord is coming one day This is Daniel White, the third with the second coming watch update. This is update number 252. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines, which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. First up today, according to Israel National News, Israel's Sagi Brigade is training soldiers with tools to deal with new threats at the border with Egypt, now ruled by the Muslim Brotherhood. Once considered a quiet border with Egypt, which officially is at peace with Israel, the area has become a prime target for Bedouin, Al-Qaeda, Hamas, and Egyptian terrorists. <clears throat> the training program teaches commanders about the IDF's tools for managing threats and prepares commanders to defend against complex attack patterns that terrorists may carry out. <clears throat> Secondly, according to persecution.org, bombs targeting a Christian public employee and Emmanuel Church exploded yesterday on the Indonesian island of Sulawesi. The blasts occurred in an area called Poso, which was the scene of massive anti-Christian violence back in 2000 and 2002. Thousands of Christians were killed and many were displaced from their homes while the government tried to stem a large influx of Islamist militants into the area. Thankfully, no one was harmed in the blasts. Third today, according to Agency France Press, the World Health Organization said that more than 350 million people suffer from depression globally. Uh, Dr. Shiha Sakzini, uh, head of the uh, World Health Organization's Mental Health and Substance Abuse Department, said it is not a disease of developed countries. It is a global phenomenon. It's present in both genders and in rich and poor populations. No region is free from the disorder and around 5% of the world's population suffers depression in the course of a year. The Bible says in Mark 13, 26 and 27, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. You can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, may I encourage you to get to know him today. To do so, please understand that you are a sinner just as I am, 
and that you have broken God's laws. However, in spite of your sins, God still loves you and he does not want you to be separated from him forever. <clears throat> Romans 5.8 tells us that God commendeth his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Because Jesus Christ died for your sins, all you have to do is believe in him and receive his free gift of salvation. If you do so, you will not have to suffer eternal punishment in hell. Rather, you will live eternally in heaven with God. Dear friend of mine, if you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, was buried, and rose again, and you want to invite him into your heart today, please pray with me this simple prayer and mean it from your heart. Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some bad things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of all of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today and forever. Amen. Dear friend, if you just trusted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you prayed that prayer with me and you meant it from your heart, I declare to you that based upon the word of God, you are now saved from hell and you are on your way to heaven. Welcome to the family of God. I want to congratulate you on receiving the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You have done the most important thing that a person can do in life, and I guarantee you that you will not regret it. For more information to help you grow in your newfound faith in Christ, go to gospellightsociety.com and read what to do after you enter through the door. Jesus Christ said in John 10:9. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. In closing, please remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew twenty four forty two. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty four forty four says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Now let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator, who prayed, Even so come, Lord Jesus. God bless you. You got to get your business straight. He's coming again. Yeah.